Are you struggling with the CPA exam because your course failed to fit your learning style? I'm Darius Clark of I-75 CPA Review, where the right teacher makes all the difference. All right, here's a sim on the five components of the COSO Internal Control Framework. So not ERM, but the COSO Internal Control Framework. What are the five components? Control environment, risk assessment, control activities, information and communication, and monitoring. For each numbered item, choose the correct internal control component. Number one, principles known as internal, external, and quality make up this component of internal control. And the answer is information and communication. Internal, external, and quality relate to information and communication. Only high quality information is appropriate and it must be identified, captured, and exchanged in a timely and useful manner between both internal and external parties. Number two, the board of directors demonstrates its independence from management and oversees development of internal control, including evidence and application of relevant expertise in areas such as IT, finance, and accounting. And the answer is control environment. Board independence and oversight is part of the control environment. According to COSO, the board of directors should be independent from management and should oversee the development and performance of internal control as part of an entity's control environment. Most of the members of the board should be independent of management. You might have one member of the board from management. The CEO might have a seat on the board or maybe the CFO, but most of the board members should be independent of the officers. Because how could you have oversight by the board if they're one and the same? If every member of the board is also a member of management, who would be overseeing who? Number three, policies and procedures are designed to implement the safeguarding of assets in order to reduce risk of achieving objectives to acceptable levels. And that's control activities. According to COSO, policies and procedures designed to implement safeguarding of assets are control activities. An example of a control activity would be the exit manager at the Costco warehouse, ensuring that the company assets are properly safeguarded, right? They ask to see your receipt before you leave the warehouse. This control activity is primarily designed to detect theft, but also serves a secondary benefit of preventing theft. Because if everybody knows that that control is in place, those who would otherwise steal might go down the street to another store that doesn't have such a control. So control activities are policies and procedures designed to implement the safeguarding of assets. And why do assets need to be safeguarded? In order to reduce risk of achieving objectives to acceptable levels. Number four, management establishes with board oversight an organizational structure including reporting lines, authorities and responsibilities including integrating organizational structure and services including outsourced service providers. Which component is being described? The control environment. When you see organizational structure, think control environment. According to COSO, part of the control environment is the org structure. According to COSO, management should establish a structure, including reporting lines, authorities, and responsibilities that is appropriate to the organization's objectives. Some companies are going to prefer a centralized organizational structure where all the decisions are made at the top, pushed down to the middle management, and the lower local management really don't have any say. But then other companies, in order to achieve their objectives, they might prefer a decentralized structure where management at the local level will have more authority to make important decisions. So anytime you see organizational structure, think control environment. Number five, the organization specifies objectives with sufficient clarity to enable the identification of threats to the achievement of those objectives. Gotta be risk assessment. The organization specifies objectives with sufficient clarity to enable the identification and assessment of risks that may threaten the achievement of those objectives. If you see identification of threats to objectives, that's got to be risk assessment. We're identifying the risks. Number six, organization develops commitment to attract, develop, and retain competent individuals consistent with achieving organizational objectives that include planning and preparing for turnover and succession. And that's control environment. According to COSO, for good internal controls to function at a high level, top management needs to be committed to hiring, developing, and training competent employees and plan and prepare for top management succession.
all big companies get a crack at this. Microsoft didn't do so well. When Bill Gates was planning retirement, they decided that Steve Ballmer would be his replacement. Didn't go well. The company floundered under his leadership. They had to let him go. They replaced him with Satya Nadella, who's doing a fantastic job. Now, Apple did it much better. They knew that Steve Jobs was going to eventually have to retire. He got sick. He quickly had to retire. Tim Cook stepped in. Apple didn't miss a beat. All companies get a crack at top management succession. Are you listening, Tesla? It's a control environment function. Number seven, the organization identifies and assesses changes in the regulatory and economic environment that could significantly impact the system of internal control. And if you think you know, leave me the answer in the comments section. And then don't forget to like and subscribe. And this COSO SIM is part of the I-75 BEC course. And if you need more help with corporate governance or any part of the BEC exam, go to cpaexamtutoring.com and get yourself on I-75, where the right teacher makes all the difference.